Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a piston motion using what I call a linear joint rig. In this simplified file, I just have a crankshaft that rotates. I have a connecting rod with the axes right there in the middle. You can go here and see it's right there where it pivots, and a piston where the axis is right there where it pivots. So everything has been set up properly. So how are we going to make this linear joint setup? I'm going to go to the character and bring up a joint. I'm going to take this joint and put it under the connecting rod, and I'm going to zero out the coordinate so it's exactly where the base is supposed to rotate. I'm going to make a copy of this and make it a child of the piston and do the same thing. And finally, I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to move it to the side. And I'm going to call the last one far away. I'm going to call this piston and I'm going to call this con for connecting rod. Now let's set this up. The far away that needs a parent null just for good measure, root. I'm going to make the piston a child of the far away and the connecting rod a child of the piston. And now if I go and add to the far away from the rigging tags an IK tag and tell it to have the connecting rod as the end and add a goal, this goal here will allow us to create this sort of motion. But there's a little bit of a problem with this motion. At the extremes, this deviates from this vertical column where we want everything to be. So let me undo here and see what we can do about this. The solution is fairly simple. I'm zooming out and I'm selecting the far away, going to the axes and bringing up my coordinates manager. I'm going to set this to minus 1500. So it's very, very far away. At the same time, because now the joints are huge, I'm going to select all my joints, go to the object and in the display bone over here, set it to box and custom and uh, 0.025 so they're nice and thin. So now all we have to do is set this up so it works properly. This connecting goal needs to be rotating with a crankshaft. So I'm going to put it here. The next thing is to take the connecting rod and put it under the con, the connecting rod. And you will see that it rotates and now the motion for the connecting rod is perfect. Now, one thing you realize is that deviation is not visible anymore. Because the far away joint is too far away, the arc here is too small to see any deviation. So although it's not linear, technically, it acts as if it's linear. You won't be able to see any deviation. Finally, what I need to do is go and find that piston, and I need to use the position of that joint to move my piston. Tell the piston to use a constraint tag in transform mode. Let me close this only for position and drag the piston in here. And if you press play now, you will see that the setup is final. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.